Hey guys, so when you're trading or holding, it doesn't matter which one you're doing, no one knows whether things are going to go up or if they're going to go down. Welcome to Mr. Nomad's Crypto Cave, where we turn dreams into digital reality and watch our portfolios and aspirations expand. This isn't something new it's not something that you've never heard before right so because we don't know what's going to happen we only have one of two choices we can either believe that something let's say for instance pulse chain because this this video is specifically for those that are in pulse chain not those that are coming into pulse chain not those that are thinking about becoming part of pulse chain but these are the this this message this video is for those of us those of you out there that are currently in pulse chain whether it's hex pulse chain inc or any other part of the community so i'm speaking directly to you guys because i want you to think differently i know that we have to look at the charts we also listen to other other influencers or 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 people that are in the community and give that they give us their their input and decipher what data has come to us through either news whether it's real or fake or um or or just information that we didn't know or maybe we don't understand and i'm not saying for you not to listen to that information information is important it's going to dictate whether we buy more whether we think we should sell but when it comes to pulse chain we don't have the ability to lock our our tokens so we are human we have the ability to push sell even if we didn't necessarily mean to push sell this message today for whoever's in pulse chain is i want you to think about your mindset if you think about it the market's driven by either fear or greed so when we're greedy or when we're excited or euphoric we're thinking about the excitement of that and, and usually the chart is going up and when we're fearful it causes us to sell and causes the chart to go down a small-minded perspective would be looking at it from the chart going up and us getting excited and the chart going down and us getting fearful or annoyed frustrated right hoping and praying that it that it reverses and goes up but if we were to think greater minded we would be thinking from the perspective of no matter which direction the chart is currently going that our goal is to still feel good about the actual chart because the chart represents the community the chart represents the overall chain if we look at it from the perspective of no matter what direction the chart is going i want to feel good then how can we feel good when things are not necessarily going in our direction one of the lessons that i've always been taught no matter who's teaching it if you're looking at swing trading or uh, holding long term everyone always talks about making sure your mindset is in the right place meaning that you're not going to use your emotions and make an irrational decision so that is true but what's also true is if you focus on a specific outcome or desire you can in essence picture that desire in your mind and achieve it i'm saying this because this is how i've lived my life on multiple different aspects whether it be from starting a business and creating and expanding it whether it be in trading or just flat out holding a specific cryptocurrency and what i mean by this is if you're looking for the larger goal the bigger goal right we, we're looking at the country where we're trying to win the war and and we want to develop our ability to have our states and have our businesses within the states that's like pulse chain sami has said this before 
like us being in a town and having different places to play, having the casino and having, you know, um, businesses, different types of businesses within it, right? So that is true. Pulse Chain has, is a community and it has multiple things within it, including the meme coins, which are like the casino, you know, or like going to the casino and then you have Pulse X, which is like the casino and then you have Pulse Chain. So you have all these different ecosystems within the ecosystem that are like a town or a city, right? So if we have this, this community, our goal is what? Of course, our immediate goal, most likely for most of us, is to be profitable in our, you know, in our choices, right? We sacrificed in order for us to, to develop a community that we hope will also not only become a community, but also help us financially as well. But obviously we have no expectations, but we also do want it to flourish. Just like us becoming our own country, just because we want to become our own country doesn't mean that we want to not flourish, not be able to create businesses and be able to grow in that way as well. So same thing goes for Pulse Chain. If we could keep that mentality of the greater good, right, and to aim for the goal of Pulse Chain expanding itself, just like Bitcoin had expanded and grown into what it has grown into thus far, and Ethereum has done what it has done, Cardano and all these other cryptocurrency chains have developed into what they are today, and they're still growing. Pulse Chain is at this point in its infancy but it's starting to develop and it's developing very rapidly if we look at what's happened thus far it has really dramatically shifted for less than a year so what I want you guys to think about here is I want you to think that yes sometimes the charts go down and yes sometimes the charts go up and we're allowed to be happy when they go up and we're allowed to be annoyed when they go down. But what I want you to do is if I want you to try to keep a more consistent feeling about Pulse Chain, about the charts in general, right? Because we're all in the same boat. Again, because this message is specifically for those of you who are in the same boat as I am, are in the same boat of Pulse Chain or any of the tokens within the ecosystem. You can be upset when it goes up or down and vice versa but I want you guys to try to keep the mindset of the larger picture and the only way for us to get there is for someone to have that thought process and what I can say is that this community more than any other community that I've witnessed has that ability to do that I've practiced the ability for you to focus upon something and to attract that thought of what you're focusing upon. If you look back on some of the earlier tweets that I had, I posted when Pulse Chain, when Pulse was pretty much looking like it was ready to fall off a cliff, I drew an, a, 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 a projected path of what I thought would happen for Pulse Chain. Did I have any real reason to believe that? Yes, it, there was a section of the chart that looked like it could do that, but could it have gone in the other, other direction? Absolutely, 100% it could have. But I had a choice. I had a choice to either focus on what it could do in a negative way or focus on what it could do in a positive way. And, or when you're thinking about thoughts and you're attracting those like thoughts to it, it usually takes between... 24 hours to two or three weeks before that manifestation becomes a reality and some of you may not believe what I'm talking about and that's okay I'm not asking you to change your beliefs or think about things the way I think about them but I'm telling you that if you're all in the same boat with me would you rather think in a way that's going to cause you to think negatively about something or would you rather think in a collectively positive way that's going to help benefit all of us going forward i choose positive and i use the example of that thought process because i physically that was one of my first tweets in the community 
And when I put that tweet, I looked at that chart and I drew what I believe the path was. Even I was, I don't want to say I was shocked, but I was pleased to say to see that with because I was actually discouraged for a moment when I saw it not do what I thought it started and then it failed and then it started to drop and then three weeks after that I don't want to call it prediction but expectation of what I would like the chart to have done it did pretty much to the T now you could call it Richard Hart seeing what I wrote you could say someone else saw my chart and decided to say, hey, this looks like a great path. I don't know, but I put the energy out there into the universe. I physically posted the tweet and to my, I don't want to call it surprise, but to my expectation, within three weeks, the chart did exactly what I expected it to do. And to this day, to today, the chart is still on the same exact path as I had predicted. And I do expect it to go above and beyond where we currently are. Will there be hiccups along the way? Of course, there's always hiccups, right? But if we could stay focused, I think that that's huge. In my life, I've attracted many things independently by myself because I'm focusing specifically on something that I desire. And whether it be my business or other another business that I'm starting or a specific trade, right? I'm sure I, I know I will be fine in holding my position for Pulse Chain, Inc., or any of the other tokens that I currently hold, I will be fine. My intention and my expectation would be ideally to hold and for us to rotate into the next season where it continues to go up and expand from there. It would be fantastic that if I could be in a position where we would be similar to Bitcoin, where, you know, if you look at Bitcoin now at where it is, if you were the original first you know cycle holder and you're here today you would be like man if i was that person in the first cycle i wish i had that because that means i would have held throughout cycle one two three so on and so forth and i would be at a sick uh, a fifty thousand dollar bitcoin today having came from zero <clears throat> now that's easier said than done right but ideally could we end up in a pulse chain cycle two three cycles from now where we are beyond way beyond where we are today way way beyond where we finish off the cycle even after the bear market and i hope that other situations occur that cause us to have a shift in mindset when we get closer to this time that cause us to shift and say hey there's no need for us to sell maybe other protocols come out like liquid loans or maybe even better that causes to not have a need to sell right we don't know what will happen but our intention should be the greater good the bigger picture because if we could focus on the bigger picture then we could start to paint these bigger pictures of what this future could look like now i think i, I want to get back to the community because we already have fantastic members of this community we have members like Maddie, like Crypto Coffee, Sami, and I'm sure there's plenty more, right? Um, but we have these members that are already pushing the boundaries and setting things up for us to see larger pictures, the reality pictures, right? They're working to put these things together. Like uh, Maddie had set up the, the Twitter ability for us to have the badge, right? So that's another thing. That's something that became a reality. So it is a current reality, but this is something that was a thought that someone came up with. Whether Maddie came up with the idea or someone else did something else and then it turned into an idea which then became it, became a reality. <clears throat> what I'm saying is that things start off as a thought. So a lot of us think Maybe we don't know what we should do or what we could do in the community because we don't have coding skills or maybe we don't have communication skills. We can't talk to other people. We don't have the ability to video ourselves and, and to do certain things in the community. So maybe we feel like, hey, there's nothing I can do but just sit on the sidelines and listen. But there is something that we can do. And this is something that I haven't done in the past. 
but I do know that it works because I've witnessed it from others. And that is collectively coming together and using that law of attraction mindset as a group. I did it independently, right? But maybe my thoughts, because I put them onto a tweet, which then goes to others, and then others start to think similarly based on a chart, and they start to believe, and then it turns into something that is no longer a belief, it's an expectation, and then it becomes the chart, right? So if we can look at things from that perspective, and we collectively come together and believe and focus on a bigger picture for Pulse Chain as a whole, if any community could do that, I would put my hands on Pulse Chain and say Pulse Chain already has all the pieces necessary, all the community members necessary. Because I see positive growth here. I see many leaders coming and pulling others up. I see this, even when Richard Hart was unable to come and present himself because of whatever the reasons, whatever situation he was going through with the SEC or whatever the case is, I don't know him personally, but while that all of that was occurring, others were still uplifting and pulling up. Even those that when, when, when the tunnel looked like it was completely dark, they were still pushing through. Even like I said, at that tweet, which looked like it was about to flip and go in the wrong direction and just boop, a little push in the right direction. So. <clears throat> what I'm, I'm going to keep repeating the same thing. The whole point is mindset. Where is your mind? Is your mind in the gutter? Is your mind selfish? Are you thinking independently? Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't think, in, think independently. And we also cannot feel a certain way for certain people when they do press the sell button. I mean, everyone's on their own path. Everyone is going in their own direction, right? At some point, it's going to be the right time for someone to say, hey, I've, it's time for me to, to move on, whether it's partial bag, exiting, whole bag, whatever the case might be. I'm not going to judge someone for choosing to sell. I mean, it is an investment for someone. Some of us, we can't say that everyone's going to be with us for the next season, for the next cycle. But we hope they will, and maybe they might get off the train and then get back on. Maybe I might get off the train and get back on. I don't know what will happen when we get there. I'm not promising. I'm not saying that anything will or will not happen. Right? I'm not try trying to shill. I'm not trying to say that um, that I'm doing something or someone else is going to do something. This isn't about that. We all have to make our own decisions and be educated, which is why I do believe what Sami is talking about. When he, he talks very realistic, right? He's talking about when the price gets too high, there's going to be a point where he's not going to say it anymore. And that's okay if he says that the price is too high when the price is too high, because that's his perspective. And he may be right. He may be wrong, right? There's always going to be someone that's going to play the safe side and someone who's going to play the risky side. So it's okay that he says what he says, but I can guarantee you one thing, that as let's say we do come collectively together and start focusing on the bigger picture. We start focusing on reasons why Pulse Chain could become the next biggest chain. I mean, it already has a huge following. It already has the ability, look at how quickly it's it's come up for, for less than a year. It already has, you know, all these content creators. It, it has all of this stuff and this is just getting going. Like I'm I'm new as far as content, like I haven't made many videos. This is maybe my second or third video, a few posts here and there. So this proves and this shows that someone who normally wouldn't create content specifically for Pulse Chain, because I do I do things outside of this community as well. I'm not just in Pulse Chain. This isn't my entire life. You know, I am invested in, in Pulse Chain. I believe in Pulse Chain. I believe that it's going to do great things. But it's not everything. But what I'm saying is, is there are, there is a bigger picture. And if we collectively look at that bigger picture, we can start painting larger perspectives of what it is that we would like to see.
Like, let's start thinking about that. Let's start posting those things. And again, I know there's going to be people that are not going to be all for it. They're going to be like, oh, you know, you're dreaming, this and that. But who cares? There's so many people that dream negatively, constantly, right? And they FUD the price. They, they you know, I'm not, tr I'm not saying for us to to FOMO the price. That's not this. That's not what my intent is by us doing this. I'm not trying to falsely cause someone to want to get in so that it can go up. That's not my intention. My intention is for those of us that are here in the community, if we have nothing else better to do and there's nothing that we can think of that we can do to better the community currently, then what we can do is collectively come up with thoughts of things of what we would like to see the picture of Pulse Chain be in the future. What would we like that picture to be? I mean, what what's possible? Paint some of the pictures. I mean, we could see maybe Pulse Chain over a penny. We could see it maybe stabilize. Maybe it does go to, to 50 cents. Now again, we're pushing the boundaries here. I'm not trying to say that it will do this or won't. I don't know if it's gonna stop at at a half a cent. I don't know if it's going to go to a penny. I don't know if it's going to go to 50 cents. I don't know. Because the reason I'm saying that is because we don't know what it is that could occur. And what we want to do is put the, the thought process of what would it, what would we need to see, what would we like to see in order to cause more people come to Pulse Chain. Now, maybe the fact that the ETF is happening in Bitcoin and that true Bitcoiners are starting to realize or they may realize that, you know, this is becoming way too institutionalized. Now we have a different dynamic. We have different type of uh, trading practices that are going on in the community. This truly isn't decentralized. Maybe they might start saying, hey, I need to get out of here. Maybe they might go towards Ethereum or those that are in Ethereum might be saying the same thing. Like the return factor maybe isn't what they thought it would be. Ethereum also, ETF looking to come to play. We know what usually happens when an ETF or something comes out. Yes, it goes up, but then what happens? There's usually a sell the news event. So if they sell the news at that point, then what more do they have, right? They can hold for, temp for, for longer term. And again, there's nothing wrong with that. But what if they start to explore? What would they be looking for? Truly decentralization, immutable contracts, you know, where we don't have, where they don't have to actually worry about um, the exchanges, you know, take, being taken down, the ability for you to run Pulse X on your computer directly, where you don't have to actually go to the website. Like these are great things that are not going on in many other communities. So let's paint these pictures. I mean, this is, I'm not even really thinking too hard, but I'm sure we could we can broaden our horizons and think about things from a, a completed state, right? Right now we're thinking about the journey. We're thinking about, oh my God, what could, what might happen, right? And we, and, and Sami talks about all these Pokemon characters, which is funny, right? He's, he's, he's adding these different people as Pokemon characters are part of the team. So add some more people, create new Pokemon characters. Who else would you like to see as part of the team? Throw whoever you want. It's for fun. But imagine what it looks like. Like, I, I think I put into chat GBT, what would it take for most people to leave other chains and come to one specific chain? And they were saying, you know, it could be an issue with uh, the, the, the governments, right? It could be an issue where they try to take Bitcoin down. And then, they, you know, if they start to try to kill cryptocurrency, you know, they may end up, people may end up piling towards you know, Pulse Chain, it could be, right? They could come towards Pulse Chain. Why? Because we were already trying, to, they already tried to take us down during the SEC investigation from the beginning. And we had, we, we already gate kept and all this other stuff. And we were still able to survive all of that stuff. Do you think these other chains have the ability to survive a situation like that? Could you imagine the FUD that would go on through something like that? So again, I don't wish other communities harm, but I'm saying that these things are possible these could happen, which could cause people to open their eyes and see what we've already created and what is being created and say, hmm, man, that seems like a pretty good chain. That seems like a great community. That seems like that has future possibilities. That seems like a better version of Ethereum. That seems like their their founder is actually, you know, I want him to be the OA. I want him to be the one that's man managing the majority of the coins as opposed to having a bunch of 
VCs, a bunch of VCs, right, that, that may be dumping the coins in the background and we have no idea. You know, it's like, what is the lesser of two evils? Who knows? Maybe even Richard Hart himself might say, hey, the community no longer needs me to be majority owner of these coins. Maybe it's time for me to burn some of these. Is that a possibility? Let's say it is a good thing and he decides, hey, I'm going to do that. So if he does do that, does that put us in a better position to hold our tokens and say, hey, this second cycle isn't going to be the dip that we anticipated or maybe we surpassed where we thought we would go this cycle. So even the retrace of 90% is still above a penny like Hex did pretty much. Like, I don't know. I mean, I'd be happy with even staying at a penny. Even if I did go up to 50 cents and then came back down, if I felt I missed the boat and sold, but I'm still holding at a penny, I'd be okay with that. I'm sure the majority of you guys would be okay with that. And if we could figure out a way to, to, to utilize the ecosystem from there and to develop new things from there and maybe be able to take loans like we have with Liquid Loans or, or other protocols to still do our uh, things at home, uh, maybe no longer go for go to our regular jobs and be able to add value to the ecosystem from there that would be even better right so let's paint that picture let's focus on what does it look like two three years from now what does it look like what it, what, what would it look like if we held through all that and we were there and we continued to grow and we were in the second cycle of Bitcoin and we were fine what does it look like for us to be there what does the community feel like I mean, I don't know, man, but I do know the more that we focus on that, the better chances we have of getting there because what we think about, we become. So let's stop thinking about, oh man, I hope things don't go down. Hoping they don't go down is focusing on going down. I'd rather you say, I hope things go up, but let's not focus. We don't have to say that either. Let's just focus on what it would look like in the bigger picture paint the picture create it be creative throw some ideas you know what would it look like hey i, I and i'm not saying this would be a great idea either but what could you imagine if pulse chain became like where bricks decided hey we need a, a cryptocurrency and they don't create their own cbdc and they say hey you know what pulse chain seems like it would be a good place to go and they're like hey they get in touch with richard hart and all of a sudden you know the bricks um countries decide hey you know what let's use this as a as the strongest competition to the u.s dollar i mean what would happen at that point again not saying that will happen but what if it did happen or something similar to that occurred you know there's different reasons type it into chat gpt and put what in what re for what reasons would it justify majority of chains to come and unify in one specific chain and see what some of the results come out to be and think about those maybe as a community we can come up with reasons as to why people would want to gravitate to our chain aside from the ones that already exist and in that process we may stumble on the upon the right people to come in who maybe already are here or or will be coming here to create the necessary components that will allow us to continue to expand from here and remember there is a need for each one of the the the, the different components that already exist you know at first i i thought there was there was just too many memes right there's just too many too much memes i felt like it was too much garbage but you know sami did say it best when he said you know what the, that some people are just here for the gambling for the memes and if someone comes from Solana or from Cardano or from Ethereum and came here specifically, bought Pulse Chain, bought Pulse in order to buy Bear, Teddy Bear, then so be it. They still bought, they still exchanged, they went through PulseX, they did the buy and burn. It, all of that stuff added to our uh, ability for the chain to be utilized for transactions to happen so we can't complain or say hey if that's your choice to be that super high risk and you want to go into you know memes and some of these memes i'm not saying they're good or bad you know of course i I've, i have some memes right i'm i'm in teddy bear myself but the point is is it's okay if 
people are not coming here for the same reasons, just like when we're in a township, right? And it's okay, imagine yourself, you move into a township, you give back to the community, maybe you are the one that's hosting the soccer practice for the little, you know, little kids, or maybe little league coach, and you're volunteering your time, just like some of these other guys are doing for the community, like Maddie and, and so on and so forth. Or you know, maybe you're getting paid, but you're doing what you could for the community or for the town, right? There's the mayor, there's this person, that person. So, but there may be a point where you're like, hey, I've done what I've done. I'm looking to move out and I'm going to go to the city or I'm going to move west or I'm going to move to a quieter area, maybe less risky, right? So your risk reward ratio may shift over time and you may say, hey guys, thank you very much. It's been a pleasure. I'm going to be downsizing, maybe leave a little portion of my portfolio as Pulse or Pulse X or whatever here or there, and I'm going to move on. Doesn't mean I didn't, I, I don't like you guys. Doesn't mean that I'm disrespecting you guys. I'm just changing my perspective for the moment. And I may be back, right? And that's okay because some people move out of the town, they go to college, they move across the country and explore, and then they may come back. And move back and and raise their kids so it's okay if people move on or move in and move out that's all all okay so i don't want you guys to be so judgmental on the people that decide to sell or decide to move on we need to be focused on the community as a whole and the bigger picture and if we could focus on that larger picture and paint that picture in our minds i'm going to try to come up with some ideas you guys do too put some comments of what you would like to see but collectively imagine imagine a chart imagine i mean we have a great um we have a great template to look at hex right of what occurred so imagine that focus on that aspect of things and in due time don't worry about when it happens don't be so stressed don't be so worried it's okay because it's all in due time but at the same time think about the bigger picture because you know what i would really like it would be fantastic if we could if I could say that on um, completing this cycle, I'm still in and, and there was no reason for me to sell. Yes, I may have missed out on some gains, but it's okay because overall we held pretty strong. We held pretty well because of all these other things that we didn't know we were going to experience because of all these other aspects of the community that expanded and grew that never happened in other communities and it stayed strong that it minimized the dip and we understood that it was just another cycle but it doesn't mean that we were out it, we, we knew it wasn't a scam and we know it's not a scam it just isn't so we don't have to worry about those things that other people are fearful of so I hope this took the this this conversation allows you to think differently for a moment I believe in charts I believe in you know being able to determine when to get in and when to get out. I'm not saying not to. I'm not what what Sami talks about all the time. I listen to. He's on point with a lot of stuff. So I don't want you to neglect that and only focus on this. You also want to think about what's going to be the right time for you to come or go, and that's okay. But in the meantime, I want you to focus on the bigger picture. And if you can focus on the bigger picture, you won't really care. Because the, the true nature of the situation is this. If you can look at whatever your bag is for Pulse Chain in whatever community, even if it's in another, another chain, I don't care where you are, if you could focus on your bag and look at that as something that you have in place, you can go on and focus on the bigger picture of what you would like to see. And in the process, you're going to feel like you've achieved that goal already and when you feel like you've achieved that goal already whether it is a monetary value that you're trying to feel or 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 to uh, achieve or if it's a success feeling of saying that you've made it through this this uh, this goal that you set forth for yourself if if that's maybe your goal or you're you're growing in the community was your goal whatever it is that is your goal I can guarantee you, if you could keep that mindset, you're going to start to experience that same feeling in other avenues of your life. You're going to start receiving abundance from 
other maybe other investments or from your job or from a business that you decide to instantaneously create or maybe you come up with a greater idea for pulse chain and you end up speaking to uh i think his name is lit lit tank you end up speaking to him and you give him an idea and then he creates it and then you guys together have expanded from there and maybe you've benefited yourself to the point where you're like hey and this would be this is this is actually a fantastic picture because this would be the one of the best outcomes is in the process of us all thinking of all this magic, this this perspective of Pulse Chain being in a better place. If all of our expectations come to us on our own through our regular lives without Pulse Chain actually getting there yet, then we won't care so much when Pulse Chain gets there. Because think about it, the guys that are investing heavy amounts of money into Pulse Chain or into Bitcoin or anything like that, do you think they really need it? Are they really looking to cash out like that? Some of them, yes, but maybe not the full amount because they're looking at the bigger picture. So if you were in a better place, maybe financially, because you started thinking right and then you won the lottery, let's say. Or you ended up starting your business and your business started to expand and grow. And now all of a sudden you have all this extra revenue coming in where maybe you invested $200,000 into Pulse Chain and you're like, ah, that's not a big deal anymore. Or you invested $25,000 and you throw another fifty, dollars but you still have another three hundred, dollars So you're not worried so much. You don't care. So you would think differently. So I don't want you guys to think about this in a lack mindset. Like I need this in order to change my life because you don't. You've already changed your life the moment you decided to just take a step forward in whatever that venture was. And currently I'm speaking to everyone in Pulse Chain, so I'm going to assume that we're in the collective mindset of being in that same mutual goal of that direction. So we are in the same boat together and we're all pointed in the same direction. So in that process of pointing in the same direction, let's collectively come together and focus that energy together. And as we focus that energy together, all other aspects of your life, my life, and everyone else's around is going to be that much better. And in the process, you could start writing the things that start to change and the things that start to better become better for you. Don't be afraid to do it. It's okay because it's going to just empower others to start thinking this way. This is not a way to think just for Pulse Chain. I live my life by this. I trade by this. I live my life by this. It makes all the difference. You want to start reading information about it? You got a, You want a book to read? Read Ask and It Is Given by, by uh, Esther Hicks, Abraham Hicks. Read that book. It's a great introduction to this aspect of thinking. It is not just about cryptocurrency. I understand why most of us are here because we think this is the gateway for us to become Whatever it is that we, I'm not going to say is money, but I'm just saying most of us have a similar concept or thought. But this isn't the only way. It will be a way, and it will achieve what you're asking it to do, but that doesn't mean you won't get it from other ways as well. So keep that mind in the right place. I hope this has helped many of you guys into thinking about the charts or any of your lives in a different way. All right, don't forget to like, subscribe. That's all I got for today. I hope you guys got something out of this and uh, hope to hear from you guys and see you all soon. If you've enjoyed our journey today, remember to give it a thumbs up and share your thoughts down below. Your feedback is not just welcome, it's essential as we shape the future episodes of the Crypto Cave.